Good morning, children. We will be reading out Man Overboard, your reader's lesson on page 105. Man Overboard. <clears throat> And we will do the comprehension passage for it. What are the things that come to your mind when you hear the word? Excuse me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ma'am, Srinika. Yes, Srinika. Ma'am, I want to ask a question. Ma'am, yesterday you said the final course of ma'am English literature and language. So ma'am, apne starting me likha hai section A and B come like this in paper. So ma'am, it will come like this on, in paper. Yes, yes. In the exam, there will be three sections. Section A will be unseen passage, and based on it, questions would be given. Section B will be language and grammar, and section C would be literature section. Okay. Now come to man overboard. We will do it as a comprehension pass. Number? 140, 105. What are the things that come to your mind when you hear the word adventure? Come on. What are the things? What are the things that come to your mind when you talk of adventure? Some excitement. Exploring. Mission. Take second. First word is excitement. excitement. Come on, write excitement. Then fun. Mom, exploring. Exploring, very good. Exploring. Then Gears, G-E-A-R-S, gears. That means the tools and equipments that you need for going on the adventure. Okay, like for skiing, if you're going, you need a skiing board. If you're going for rafting, you need uh, what uh, life-saving jackets. So in this way, gears, G-E-A-R-S, gears. So the first word is it's excitement. Then exploring, then gears. What else? Come on. Fun. Think of more words. Come on. Fun, then risk. Now think of one more word. Come on, risk. Then. Fear. At times you have, uh, you, are, you have a feeling of fear also when you're trying something new. So there are six uh -huh. things. I would Fun, excitement, exploring, gears, fear, risk. Got the words? Your voice is not reaching me. What did you say? Your voice is echoing. Okay, let's read about Vasantha for Vasantha's first experience on her voyage to Singapore. The voyage is a sea journey. I guess you can tell one. Mom experience. Huh? Mom experience. Experience, yes. So you can write fear oblique experience. Good word. You gain a lot of experience. So fear, oblique, experience. Each day you are learning a new lesson. 
Okay. So we come on to Samant, uh, uh, what's her name? Vasantha's first journey by water voyages or water journey, okay, to Singapore. I stood on the deck of SS Rajula. Now, SS Rajula is the name of the ship which she had undertaken a journey with. And she stood on the deck. Deck is what? The open area of the ship. As she slowly moved out of Madras Harbor, I waved to my grandparents till I could see them no more. So she waved as we all wish bye-bye to the uh, our relatives once we are leaving. So in the same way, she bids farewell to her grandparents and moves off from a ship which was harbored in Madras Harbor. I was thrilled to be on board a ship. It was a new experience for me. Are you traveling alone? Asked the person standing next to me. Yes, uncle, I'm going back to my parents in Singapore, I replied. What's your name? He asked. Vasantha, I replied. I hope this much is clear. The conversation between uncle and Vasantha. Now this uncle is yes. a strange man. He is curious to know about her. And so she tells, yes, I'm going alone, traveling alone because my parents are in Singapore. I spent the day exploring the ship. It took just like a, it looked just like a big house. There were furnished rooms, a swimming pool, a room for indoor games and a library. Yet there was plenty of room for 11,111 around. So how many passengers were there in the ship? Keep taking down these questions, the ones I'm asking. How many passengers were there in the ship? I'm 11,111. Yes, please I'm answer. 11,111. Very good, very good. You know, in spite of knowing the answer, why you get less marks? Because you answer in one word. So make this sure. This is why I've given you this comprehension because I wanted you all to make these mistakes so that I can check you. So the answer is there were... 11,111 passengers in the ship. Okay, next question. What was the name of the ship? The My name of the ship. Rajula. My message is Rajula. Uh, don't take, give me one word answers. Give me complete. The name of the ship was SS Rajula. Okay, what all is described was a part of the ship? Yes, ma'am. What all was described? What all is described about the ship? We know that the ship has the furnished rooms. It had a swimming pool, a room for indoor games, and a library. Okay, next. The yes, next so morning. We have to write yeah. all this in our uh, register. Rough register. Yes, the questions that I'm giving you, you have to answer them. The next morning, the passengers were seated having breakfast. The loudspeaker spluttered noisily and then the captain's voice came loud and clear. Spluttered, what is the meaning of spluttered? Short, uneven, sharp, unclear noise. The meaning of short is made a series of short, unclear noises. Yes. So the loudspeaker, then the captain, captain's voice could be heard after some time. Friends, we have just received a message from that a storm is brewing in the Indian Ocean. I request all of you to keep calm. Do not panic. Those who are inclined to seasickness. They please stay in their cabins. Thank you. So now the captain made an announcement saying that there's a storm which is cropping up, which is moving towards the ship. And it is arising in which ocean? Indian Ocean. Okay. So he, he asked his passengers to be calm and not to panic. 
and those who had sea sickness. Now, what is sea sickness? A feeling that you're going to vomit because of the movement of the ship that you are traveling in. Okay. Now, so he asked that if you're having seasickness, please remain in your cabins. There was panic everywhere. An old lady prayed aloud, Oh God, have mercy on us. My only son is waiting for me in Singapore. A, gent a gentleman consoled her. Don't worry, madam. It's only a warning. We may not be affected at all. Another lady who was sitting beside me looked very ill. Not rough weather. I am already seasick. A rough sea will be the end of me. So now there are passengers whose behaviors are told here. One of the old lady, she started praying that God, please don't bring any uh, adverse situation here and uh, be merciful. Then the other, oh, other person consoled him on the ship who was next to her. He consoled him, don't worry, madam, it's just a warning. And we still not have uh, the chance of experiencing it. And then there was another lady who was already sick and she was uh, having seasickness already. And she was finding it that if the storm would come, it will be the end of her. I could not understand why all the elders were so upset. I remembered the several sea adventures I had read. Excitedly, I turned to the elderly gentleman sitting next to me. Uncle, won't it be thrilling to face a storm on a board, a, streamer, a steamer? Have you ever been on a ship during a storm? It can be quite unpleasant, you know, he replied rather severely. I remember a time when, uh, when the ship on which I was traveling ran off course. We were wandering on the ocean for a couple of days. So now he's, the girl is very excited. She had heard about the stories of adventure and she was very curious to know that would it be not fun? So she asked the uncle sitting next to, uh, next to him, next to her, hey, wouldn't it be fun? To this the man says, no, it's not that pleasant. It's not that exciting. Rather, we, one should be a little, uh, you know, taken aback by it because one, he told his experience that once he had he was sailing and he met with the same kind of a storm and the ship kept wandering for a couple of days that means it could not reach the shore i remembered my class teacher an english woman telling us in class one day when i crossed the english channel on my way to singapore there was a big storm near gibraltar the ship rocked to and fro. Everything in the cabin rolled up and down. Even the heavy pianos in the launch were, went crashing against the walls. So now the class teacher gives her the experience that once in the class, she remembered that her English class teacher, she was crossing the English channel. It's the name of a channel, okay? A water body. And while going to Singapore, that she had met with a storm, okay? While crossing England and Singapore to reach England through Singapore, sorry, to reach Singapore through England, you cross what English channel, okay? So uh, she was telling her experience and, she, and the girl remembered what she had told, that the ship was moving to and fro, and there was a storm inside, outside also. Plus, even the heavy things like piano were crashed to the walls of the ship. This made my imagination run wild. Turning to uncle again, I said, wouldn't it be fun if the storm broke when we have lunch, then the tables with all the food on them would run away from us, and the chairs with us sitting on them would be a merry-go-round. So now she being a girl is experiencing all her fantasies. She's imagining all what could have happened. Okay, now I'll stop here for today. Take down the questions based on it. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. 
मैम इन दिस पैराग्राफ आई रिमेंबर्ड माई क्लास टीचर इन दिस पैराग्राफ हर क्लास टीचर हैज एक्सपीरियंस दिस ऑल यस द क्लास टीचर वाज शेयरिंग हर एक्सपीरियंस विद द क्लास इन हर क्लास एंड दिस गर्ल इज रिमेंबरिंग दैट ओके नाउ राइट द क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 राइट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द ओल्ड लेडी वंस शी हैड हर्ड द अनाउंसमेंट आई रिपीट right the experience of the old lady when she heard the announcement question number 4 what did the gentleman sitting next to the old lady console her next do you think vasantha question what did the child a child i am not writing anywhere i am just dictating so you have to be more vigilant plus this call is on recording you can see it from there next question what were the feelings of vasantha when she heard the announcement next which water body was going to experience the storm which water body was going to experience the storm according to the captain next write in details about the girls english teacher when she was sailing in the sea that's it you are supposed to write these questions and answers go through this 